Okay, so here I have an assortment of flies out. So we'll we'll do this as mayfly, caddisfly, stonefly. Um, then we have to think about streamers. We have our nymphs, and I want to talk. I want to talk about terrestrials as well. Before we start on the stonefly, I should point something else out. For the mayfly and the caddisfly, the nymphs, as I showed you before, they come out from the rocks and, and start to rise from here. Stoneflies, no matter where they are in the stream bed, they crawl to the banks, they crawl to the banks and up the side of the bank. So if you're trying to fish a stonefly nymph, you're gonna to want to fish that closer to the bank. Okay, now there are some, I'll say prolific stonefly hatches in the West. Now, I've never been to the stonefly hatch on the Henry's Fork and I probably won't, only because of the horror stories I've heard about the amount of people there. It is so crazy. Now, stonefly hatches um, are, are generally a, an early spring kind of a hatch. And they're a hatch that move, that move upstream and they can move as much as five miles a day. So you really have to know what you're doing when you get into a, into a stonefly hatch. Um, we were fishing a stonefly hatch on the South Fork one day and I was casting to a rising fish and he kept hitting the hook and hitting the hook and could not, I just couldn't get him hooked. And finally I did. And when I had him up to the boat, he had stoneflies coming out of his mouth everywhere to the point where he just couldn't get another one in. But that's how they, but that's what happens during one of these hatches. Now stoneflies are big buggers. They're, you know, they're as big as your finger and you'll be there and they'll be on your shoulder and they'll be crawling up and down your rod when you're in the middle of one of those hatches. So now I'm going to show you um, what, what, you, what you'd be doing if you were fishing a dry, a dry looking um, stonefly. They're a very big fly, wing case lays down like so. Um, uh, this one has rubber legs. Um, Here's, here's one that I tied a long time ago, just a little variation of that, and another one, a little variation of that, um, with a tail on it like so. Um, they are a big fly to cast. Now, this is where I'm gonna go back and mention the stimulator, because if you look at this one here, this is nothing more than a very large version of a, of a stimulator. And the, and the interesting thing about stimulators is you can cut them, you can add things, you can make them look like a hopper, you can make them look like so many different things. They're just a great all around fly. Okay, so that's the dry. Now your stonefly nymph, and by the way, most of our stoneflies are golden stones. So I brought three different examples. Um, this, is, this would be a classic looking golden stone nymph. This one is called a rubber legged golden stone nymph. And this is just a smaller version of that one. All golden stones or all stone flies. So there you have a variety of, of um, mayflies, caddisflies, stone flies.